so much to catch up on. So much to catch up on. I just dropped go to nursery. How are you? How have you been? Can't believe it's been, I can't believe it's been so long. Basically the summer holidays just swallowed me up. I had every intention to vlog at some point. I just did not have capacity to think of anything except surviving. It's now mid-September though, because Gabe didn't actually go back and to nursery until last Wednesday, which was the 11th, which is basically mid-September, so late. But anyway, one thing you might notice is that I'm sat in a new car. The biggest update is that we got a new car over summer. This is, this. I don't know if you can see much of it. This is it. There's the car seats back there. Um, it is, it is a bigger car. Um, it's not a massive one, but it's a bigger one. I have mentioned this, um, in passing but we did need a new car we had a ford fiesta especially since having two children it just wasn't big enough like the inside of the car when hainsley drives there's no space between like elliot and the back of his seat for elliot's legs like up by his head also the boot was way too small so every time we were going to my mum's house which we went to over summer she's down in somerset we would have to rent a car because we couldn't fit everything we needed to in the boot space wise in the back it wasn't comfortable for the boys to do long drives so we just needed to get a big old family car Oh, so we did we had a few on the list the kind of go-to family cars are like any volvo xc specifically xc40 xc60 i also had the kia sportage on my list and the peugeot 3008 i mean i'd love a porsche cayenne sure but that's just not in the budget but that kind of size car is what we were wanting and this car that we actually ended up with was not something that i ever knew existed the first time we rented a car to go to my mum's we were given this car which is the Vauxhall grandland it was a car i'd never heard of never seen we rented it really really liked it and then every time we were seeing other car options we were like no the Grandland is so nice because it looks nice from the outside and inside it's really nice and it just some of these cars like the Volvos I feel like can look a bit bulky and a bit like toy car-ish <laughs> whereas I feel like our one still looks quite sleek so we paid off our Ford Fiesta at the beginning of the year and the plan was we didn't really want to have to have a finance plan anymore to buy a car let's sell our car and anything else we have to pay if we don't have the money we'd rather put it on a credit card and pay off the credit card than take out a finance plan I you know I'm not one to give financial advice but don't do car finance it's such a rip-off and you pay through the arse basically you end up paying off more than the car is actually worth which you would do if you put it on a credit card but do you know what I mean like you then get a balloon payment so you've got a massive payment at the end of the loan depending on what you get anyway that was the plan we were able to do it we part exchanged for ease because I was like we can't really be without a car so I think someone's gonna park in front of me so I'm gonna have to get driving no they're not so we found this car in what well, I say we Hainsley found this car in Birmingham he whizzed up there and whizzed back down and here we are I'm in my middle class mum SUV I feel like I really fit in my area now which is great anyway so much to catch up on I'm so happy to be back vlogging the one thing that's weird in this car is it doesn't have a handbrake it's got like a button and I didn't think I was going to get used to that but I actually am but it's still quite weird to not have an actual handbrake oh okay small potatoes take a bath Wait, Ellie, can I change your nappy please? You've done a big pee-poo. Can we change your nappy? You've done a big poo. Okay, it's lunchtime and I actually did mean to vlog a lot more, as as always happens. Dropped Gabe, came home. Ellie and I then went to a soft play. Though it wasn't actually busy, thank God, but just not the easiest to film in. And then I had to pop into Boots to pick up specifically Orbis oil and cowpaw plug-in refills. Tis the season. Um, it's actually not really winter, is it? But Gabe came back yesterday and last night was sniffing in bed to the point where he was coughing so i think he might he could be getting a cold or just like sniffles and going back to nursery but either way i thought let's stock up on those so we've got them because the worst thing is when they're trying to sleep at night if they're so bunged up that they can't really breathe and they're coughing and spluttering and gabe doesn't always like to sleep with a pillow so he lies very flat so if he is like stuffy it'll go down his throat anyway also grabbed these two for the boy's hair mostly for elliot's hair because he's the one that lets us wash it the most thoroughly gabe is not great with having his hair washed and i'm just trying different things for the kids i find the kids specific stuff isn't great i thought i'd try this brand bread because i've heard good things about them full stop and so i thought let's try their shampoo and conditioner first and you can get these little sachets i mean i know what you're thinking very expensive for children's hair care i don't know if it's just because i'm a hairdresser but like i just see hair and also 
because they have a different hair type to me, I just quite enjoy getting to try different products so that I can then recommend to people who have a different hair type from me things that have worked for us. So I also kind of use it as that opportunity. I did want to try bread because I feel like lots of people talk about it and and say it's quite good. So I just picked up their Gentle Milky Hair Cleanser and the Creamy Deep Conditioner. Specifically this that I want to try because I just, I'm finding that I can't find conditioners that do what I want them to. I feel like a lot of them just sit on top of the hair and don't really do anything. So I thought we'd give that a go. So mainly the conditioner is what I wanted to try anyway. So then we got back from Boots. We're just chilling before Elliot went down for his nap. And then my auntie called me and now we're here. Elliot's napping and I've just made some lunch. So I'm going to eat that and sit and watch Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. <gasps> she is pregnant. Holy shit. I am currently whitening my teeth. As part of my Invisalign, we're actually going to the dentist tomorrow because I'm having a crown. I had temporary crown fitted two weeks ago and I'm going back tomorrow to get the actual crown fitted. The last aligner and technically the end of my Invisalign treatment. But I am going to ask, because there's like a tiny bit that I'm... I'm like, could that be moved a bit more? So I'm whitening my teeth and I think I've got like teeth whitening blindness because I'm looking at them on the camera and they look quite white in the viewfinder. When I look at them in real life, I'm like, they're so yellow still. <laughs> I'm only supposed to have them on for a maximum of two hours, the whitening. So I find it really hard to do because by the time I've put the boys to bed, I don't really have time. I have to brush my teeth half an hour before. I don't really have time in the evening to do that because then I want to eat dinner and then go to bed. So I've been doing it during the day. Hello, good morning. Wednesday today. God, my teeth do look white. We're getting ready to go to the dentist today. We are at the end of my Invisalign treatment, so I'm also going to find out what's happening next because I am going to be doing some bonding and I'm going to have a fixed brace. That's it. But there is like a little tooth here that I'm a bit like, oh, could that be moved a bit more? So I'm going to speak to Tilly because now that I've got this crown in, I've had to cut this aligner. It's not a huge big deal because the crown's quite far back, but the bottom aligners I've had to cut because they don't house the crown. So if we want to do any more aligners, I believe once the crown's in, Tilly could then rescan me and I could get more aligners if we feel like that's the best thing to do. I feel like I've really ticked off some dental milestones with this treatment because I've had this crown base. I was eating a twirl and my tooth just crumbled. <laughs> so I had a filling but it was so big that it was more filling than tooth. And I knew that I would eventually need a crown. Crowns are really expensive. I don't want silver or gold. Those are the only crowns that you can get on the NHS, which are cheaper. So white crowns are always private. I have dental insurance. If I give you one piece of advice, two pieces of advice in this video, avoid car finance if you can, although I know that's very tricky, and get yourself dental insurance. It doesn't tend to cover the whole cost of the treatment, it's still very expensive, but depending on what one you get, you can get about half back. So I also had two teeth taken out within this treatment. That was back in August. I've never had a tooth taken out. The dentist doesn't make me nervous, so I wasn't really dreading it, but I hadn't done it before. But it was one of those things that I felt like, do you know what, in dentistry, I've never had a tooth out. I have no idea what it's like. Like for me, I didn't feel like it was that bad. They were just my two wisdom teeth at the back on the top. And it wasn't, I didn't have to have them out. In my, some of my x-rays, Tilly saw a bit of a shadow next to it on the teeth next to the wisdom teeth. It wasn't actually decay, but she basically said preventative wise, because of the way the wisdom teeth are and how awkward they are to clean, they could over time end up causing decay in the tooth next to them unnecessarily, which could be avoided. So whip them out. You don't need them. Out they go. I know in the state, I think people just get their wisdom teeth out as standard as soon as they come through. I think I've mentioned before, I'm getting this at a discounted rate because I am doing content for Tilly. Also, it's so that she can kind of feature the journey in the way that she wants to. So I am getting a discount, but it's still expensive. I just wanted, like I'm not getting it for free basically. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that. But now that I've spent all this money, really, I'm just precious about my teeth and I knew that, which is why I got dental insurance because I thought if anything happens, I do want to have the option. I don't know why I'm bothering with lip liner, but I just thought, why not? God, I actually repurchased like an oldie but goodie. Rimmel Cappuccino and then Anastasia Honey, the old combo that I used to love. I mean, I don't know why I've just done that. I'm going to the dentist. I mean, I'm probably going to eat and maybe get like a match or something before I go into the dentist. So this will probably come off. I don't know why I've just done that. Why have I just done that? Do you ever do that? Like, 
you start putting makeup on and you only need a little bit and then you just suddenly all of a sudden you're like oh am i going out to the club because i really don't need lipstick on anyway not a very exciting outfit at all um i don't even know why i'm showing you but i've just got this top from marquette trousers from cos and then i will have my birkenstocks on <laughs> So I've just done a client, I had to run back from London to come and do a client and I'm now getting ready to go home. But I realised I barely spoke to you in London. I didn't even film in the dentist. We both want to tweak this little tooth here. So I got re-scanned after I had my crown fitted for a couple more aligners. And then I should get them next week because this is my last aligner set that I've got. I've got more whitening. She agreed we can go whiter. So. We've got the 16%, okay? Just give me two boxes of this, ramping it up. So we'll see how we get on, but I'm definitely gonna do one, another week of whitening and see where we are. And then I went into Oh My Cream. How cute is this little bag? And this isn't actually for me. I bought this as a present for my friend who I should be seeing on Friday, who's currently pregnant. She expressed how literally water wipes and her skin has not been better. She's really suffered before pregnancy but now she has rosacea she's like everything i use is inflaming my skin honestly water wipes are the winning combo for me and i saw this and i thought maybe this it's just a nice treat it may not work but i thought it's just a nice little thing to give her it's this brand called town and it's for pregnancy and it's called the mega water if anyone else i don't even think you need to be pregnant but if your skin is really reacting this is supposed to do the trick i think it's a bit like la roche posay Zero Zinc. I feel like it's that similar kind of product. But it's basically like a spray. That's what it looks like, like an aerosol spray. So nice though, isn't it? The branding. So yeah, it's just like a Zero Zinc, I think. I'm gonna head home now. Um, probably won't vlog anymore because nothing exciting is happening, but tomorrow we're getting my nails done. So you'll come with me to that. And I'll see you then. We are just on the way to get my nails done and I usually go, just literally there's like a Tesco's near where my nail lady is and I usually just get a really shit Costa coffee, they have like a machine in there. There's a parade of shops quite near, um, it's really cute and I thought let's try and see if we can get a matcha because I've started drinking matcha lattes. I tried them many moons ago and just didn't really like the taste but suddenly I do quite like that. I picked up a matcha and... I feel like I didn't really go through my shopping trip yesterday. I went into Selfridges particularly because I wanted to look at the Demelier bags. I keep seeing them everywhere and I think I like them but I'm not sure and I feel like they look much better in real life so I'm glad I went to look at them because they are really nice bags, they're really structured. I wasn't sure if they were that structured, I don't know, when I've seen them in people's pictures and online, I don't know, I feel like they look a bit too soft, but actually they are quite nice and structured. Also was on the hunt for like an event evening bag, that sounds a bit granny, an evening bag, but like I've got bags that I can take out with me. I've basically got quite a swanky event next week, Claridge's, it's a dinner and I'm very excited about it. And I have bags that I could take, but I was in the market for perhaps treating myself to a new bag for this purpose, but also going forward for evening things. So I wanted to go and have a look at them. I looked at, I wanted to look at, particularly, I wanted to look at, it's a bit like of a throwback, but Stella McCartney Falabella bags, I really like. I don't really like all of them, but there's some smaller ones that I wanted to look at and Colt Gaia I wanted to look at and then I didn't mean to look I didn't intend to look at this but Ganny have got some quite nice options and then I went online and Liberty do like a croc version of this Ganny bag that I saw I might put a picture in for reference and I'm wondering whether to get this Ganny one I then went into Majuri to try on rings because I have 
have some rings on this hand and then I've got some rings that I do wear on this hand but I don't wear them often on this hand because they're more like dress rings they're Monica Veneda and they're quite bulky they're lovely but they're more like kind of costume jewelry so I would wear them out but I'm on the hunt for kind of everyday rings for this hand in particular and so I wanted to go into Majuri in particular because they have some lovely ones and I wanted to try them on and see what size I would be so I tried three on that I really like and that's that and then I went to the dentist and now here we are um my nails I think I found the perfect nude I don't know if you can really see nude I either go red or nude and I've been on the hunt for the perfect nude and this one is it it's that I mean they need doing obviously but it's that perfect like when you see on Instagram the like clean girl mannequin this to me is it I don't know if anyone I don't know what her name is nail artist called Mattia I want to say she was at dry by and now she's just here there and everywhere. she always posts like lovely hands that just have a really clean like mannequin nail they also get biosculpture and so this is biosculpture sheer admiration and I think I'm just gonna get that again because I think these will be my event nails next week and then birthday nails gorgeous nails all done oh my god I love them so much also can you see these I bought crocs it's windy can you hear what I'm saying never bought crocs for myself bought crocs for the kids because they are actually very handy very practical for a child then felt tempted myself for a house shoe take the bins out into the garden well they've migrated out of the house as you can see but honestly they're so comfy i love them i'm never happier than when i have my crocs on now is it done beautiful went for the same again thank you very much and now we're going to drive home what time i've actually got some things to show you that i've bought recently including this top this is from adenola i've got a couple of other things from adenola one of which actually was the jumper i was wearing earlier in this video but i'm going to show you a few things that i've bought recently also so we'll do a little bit of a haul okay so first things first i had seen uh adenola wanted to try some stuff specifically some of their oversized sweatshirts and t-shirts the first thing i bought was it was i think i'd gone to the dentist went to selfridges they have adenola in there so i thought let's go and have a look and i got this t-shirt if you wanted it in this brown color but that is always sold out online and it's really oversized and it's just wonderful now i got this primarily because i have started running well I say that very loosely. I'm attempting to run purely because I've never been able to. It's always been that one thing in fitness that I'm like, I cannot run. I love fitness. I love working out, but running is not something that comes naturally to me. Logistically, it's free. It's the easiest thing I can factor into a day without having to think really far ahead. And I just feel like getting older, I just want to be able to run. Like, I don't want to run a marathon, but I'd like to be able to run to some extent because I just feel like, to me, that's like optimum health optimum fitness is to be able to run and it not hurt or get really out of breath so I just think it's a good thing to attempt as I'm getting older so I've downloaded couch to 5k and I'm actually gonna go for a run once we've gone through the, all of this but anyway more about that later so I picked up this as a running like an oversized workout t-shirt as well but also this is great for just lounging around at home and it's that really nice kind of washed cotton it's a really I really if you've been eyeing up this t-shirt I really recommend it I love it um, yeah, this is a large. And I tend to get things really oversized, especially if they are women's clothes, because I feel like, like this top, for example, even though it's a woman's oversized top, they're not they're not long enough. If I stand up, this might not bother people. I'll show you in the mirror. It might not bother people the length, but I like myself a very particular length. Um, I then, when it was getting colder, started to think about the cosy winter wardrobe, and so I ordered this oversized jumper from Adenola again. The same design it's got the little ada on the front and then that on the back and this is just like a boyfriend jumper like i think it's so nice and this i think again i maybe got this in a medium actually because this is quite big yeah this is a medium the last thing i got from adenola is this top who doesn't love a waffle top it's so nice isn't it but let me show you um right everything's a tip so just ignore but can you see, this is just not quite long enough for something that's oversized for me. Like, I just don't, I like things to be more like here. I just like to cover the crotch. I don't know if that's just me, but I prefer something that covers the crotch. This, if you wore with jeans, you could hoik up and it would be quite cute. But I would prefer for this to be longer. I would prefer this to be slightly longer to allow for shrinkage because I feel like this is the kind of thing that could shrink in the wash. So that's Adenola. I then, in the spirit of running and just wanting to do more fitness, I have, I, I basically haven't bought anything clothing-wise, fitness clothes-wise for myself 
pretty much for about four years. I've bought some basic things, but not any kind of new wardrobe up updates really over the last four years. So going back into exercise, my sports bars don't fit me anymore. Uh, I've got leggings, but I needed to get some other things, mainly sports bras. So I have four. Um, I got two from Gymshark. One is this one. I don't know what this is called, but I'll link all this below. It's just one that's like that. This one, which had a, has a little gathering in the boobies. I've worn this one and I really like it to run and then it's like a crossover at the back. And then two from H&M. I don't love all of H&M's fitness wear. I don't really like their leggings, but for tops and sports bras, I think they're quite good. So I got this one, which is slightly ribbed. And then it has like that, not a crossover, but that sort of back. This little gray triangle one. Again, it's kind of ribbed and a bit crisscross at the back. So it's got warm now. And at the time I was starting running, it was still warm. Then it went cold. But anyway, I don't have any shorts and I thought I need shorts for running. So I went to Nike and just picked up some cycle shorts. I like a longer cycle short because of chafage. And these are nothing special. They're just running shorts, basically. T-shirt, another T-shirt. So the Adenola one is wonderful. But then I was, because it was warm, I thought I need some kind of vest. And I always like to work out these sort of drop sleeve best so I got one of these from Gymshark it's quite low there so with the sports one underneath it's nice but I thought this is great for running in when it is warm but equally in the gym doing weights these are great when I was in H&M I also just grabbed an oversized grey t-shirt like this is nothing special but another oversized t-shirt just to throw on uh, to go and work out in whether it's Pilates or running or weights you always need oversized stuff. basically all I have left from my previous gym days is leggings um, the tops I used to wear, it's just like that's when I was like a skinny min and I am no longer that, so I wouldn't want to wear this. <laughs> and then one other thing, I got really carried away, but going into winter, thinking about running, I thought I need some kind of running jacket and H&M do some really great running stuff. Am I going to become one of those people that just talks about running? <laughs> so I got this, one of these pullover jackets, there's a, like a halfway zip and then it's slightly longer at the back and it has got a bit of reflective stuff here and there there's a hood um, and that's that and I actually did get a new pair of trainers these are quite cheap like £40 on Nike I don't have any trainers I think I must have got rid of them the ones I used to go to the gym in because I have no kind of running style trainers I just got the cheapest ones I could find they're really comfortable I don't know the style of them I know nothing about these trainers they just looked quite cute and they're cheap but they are very comfortable okay this I want to show you that I bought because I'm going to this swanky event next week I actually bought a new pair of earrings because I don't really have any kind of dressy earrings like these are kind of the dressiest I have and so I decided to order a pair from Monica Vinader and I actually have a code from Monica Vinader I'll put down below it's a link and if you click that link the discount will apply to anything you put in your basket but I think it's like 20% off it's very good very good discount I actually used it to buy these earrings <laughs> so I saw these online I thought they looked beautiful and were kind of just the thing that I want for next week this is them so they're kind of like a I don't know like an angel wing <laughs> I guess you could describe that as look at that oh yeah I like that Oh, stunning. So yeah, so put the other one in. It's like a sit down dinner, so I just feel like that's just enough. Don't want anything too crazy. But yeah, that's just a bit more special than my everyday ones. Okay, she's ready to run, let's go. I'm so hot, but I've basically completed the first week of Couch to 5K, can you believe? These Nike shorts were so good to run in. I don't know what model they are, but they're just longer. Because you can get the really, really like hot pants ones. No. But these didn't ride up at all. They stayed exactly where they were. So I can highly recommend. Is that her? Oh. Hi, good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm just in the car. I've just parked because I'm meeting a friend for coffee. Oh, should I shove her? Oh, this car's going in front of me. I might just scooch up a bit. Bear with. Got no seatbelt on. Naughty. Stunning. Okay. Anyway, it's Friday morning. I'm going to meet my friend Charlotte for coffee. Can't wait. Haven't seen her for eight. Oh. Okay, this is why I need to get used to this car. I haven't seen her for ages. She lost! She's pregnant. Due in December. So she's basically me two years ago. And I keep saying to her, like, I can't tell you how great it is to have a baby in December. I know people say Christmas birthdays are rubbish. But to have a baby and be postpartum in December and January, like specifically being postpartum in January and having a newborn to cuddle is literally the best time 
to be in that period because you do nothing but like hunker down have baby cuddles everyone looks after you comes to see you there's no expectation to do anything and then by the time you kind of feel like you might emerge it's going into spring and then by the time you feel like maybe I've got this down it's going into summer it's great it's honestly I highly recommend a December baby or a January baby I've bought this with me remember we went to Oh My Cream the other day I bought her that oh this is the, my Adenola jumper I didn't really show you how it fit I'll show you when I get home but this is it isn't it so nice are you going to be a parent helper? No. Absolutely not. I'll just chat into the camera. Well, I was just going to show you all how this jumper fits because I didn't before. Um, Is it jumper weather? No, not now it isn't, but this morning. I wasn't, you know, you just can't tell these days. Elliot's asleep in the bedroom and that's where the mirror is, so I can't really show you, but that's the... Do you get the... Do you get the vibe? It's just a very oversized... I feel like a retrofit type jumper. Well, that might be better, isn't it, in this... where the sun is. Actually, might this be better? I've got to go quite far back. Oh, and now it's dark. You press the button. Hot. Oh, is that... Hello, gorgeous. Who's that? Gaby. That's not Gaby. That's Ellie. You look like Gaby. Gaby. You know what? We'll go and get Gaby. Yeah. How cute is that that he says Gaby? It makes my heart sing every time he says it. Isn't it? Gaby. We love Gaby, don't we? We love our big brother Gaby. Gaby. It's for you. Gaby's at nursery, isn't he? Mm. We'll go and pick him up later. Later. <laughs> later. You gonna have your milk? My sweet gorgeous angel! Oh god, I can't, I can't. Knock knock. Knock knock Ellie, who's there? Hainsy was right, it's no longer sweater weather, so the t-shirts come out for a little nursery run pick up. They're great. Ellie's got his crocs on. Oh his eggs. Right, should we go and get Gaby? Should we put our eggs back? Hug? Hug? Or egg? Put them, put them back. Well done, Angel. Should we go and get Gaby? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>